Whew, it is hot. Too hot for the studio and these here fancy lights. We're going to do this the old fashioned way. Guys, today we're going to be talking about three reasons why you need to be stockpiling that cash, but not just that, how you should be stockpiling this cash. Stay tuned. I want to start off with a story from another YouTuber channel. I'm going to leave the link to the full video in the description down below. But you guys, you got to check this out because this is reason number one. You need to be stockpiling your cash. Jobs are disappearing. Redbox is officially over. As of the Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing of parent company Chicken Soup for the Soul, all employees have been terminated. But it wasn't a story without lies. The Redbox through parent company Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, failed to pay their employees and failed to pay their health coverage for employees and didn't disclose that information to them while still taking those premiums out of everyone's paychecks. We're seeing a very large shift uh, in jobs right now. If you work in the service industry at all, those jobs are changing. Even where I used to work at the grocery store, as I made in a previous video, a lot of these stores are getting merged and gobbled up. So if you're a higher up or a manager like I was, those jobs are even in jeopardy. My point is this. Very few jobs are overly secure, not like they used to be. So it's important you got that savings built up in case anything happens. Reason number two to be stockpiling that cash is it's an election year. We're going to have a new president one way or another in the future. And elections bring uncertainty in the market. And to be honest, if the Democrats win, I think one of the policies that they're going to try and enact in the next year or two is an increase on the federal minimum wage. Look, I'm all for increasing minimum wage. I was watching a video from Chris Cuomo, who I didn't know had a YouTube channel after getting fired from CNN, but that's a whole separate topic. But he did make one good point. Because technology has as much Innovation has as much to do with the removal of jobs as just saying, well, they make it cheaper somewhere else. But as a matter of fact, they do make it cheaper somewhere else. And unless America wants to do the best thing that we could do for ourselves would be to pay more for goods and make them here at home and stop our dependency on China for making all the shit that we want and now need. But will we do that? Hell no. Why? Nobody wants to suffer short term. Nobody wants to suffer. That's why they don't fix any of the entitlements. Social Security, Social Insurance, Medicare, Medicaid. They don't really fix them. They just Band-Aid them. Why? Because nobody wants to feel any pain now. I'm only like 20 subs away from hitting 1,000 subs. I'm kind of happy with that. This channel ain't been around that long. I need your help because I want to do a massive giveaway when I hit 1,000 subs. I'm going to be giving away all sorts of fun merch. I got the Freedom shirt. I'm going to do some like... Cousin Emmy tum tumblers used. Um, I want to do uh, some awesome just Trader Bubba toys. There's some fun stuff. Uh, so if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment telling me uh, that you think I'm an idiot. I don't care. Leave a comment down below. Let the algorithm know you done listen to me. The third biggest reason to stockpile cash is to become a homeowner. I personally believe. That depending on the area you live in, investing in a home is one of the greatest assets you can have. If you are looking to own a home, the days of the 10% down payment are gone. You're going to need 20%, and then you're going to want to um, add in additional fees and costs and closing costs and that sort of thing. I'm telling you, you're going to need that. I don't care what anybody says. 15 to 20% easily is going to be your down payment on a new home especially if the interest rates do go back down, there's going to be a huge boom in people trying to buy houses. And if you want in on it, you're going to have to put down a huge chunk of money. So start saving that money now. But hang on. Am I saying to just take out cash, hide it under the mattress? Am I saying to put it in the bank? Well, I'm not saying put it in the bank. Uh, banks make money off your money, and they give you a fraction of interest in return, right? Right now, our inflation rate is like three, three and a half percent. What's the interest rate on a savings account? One percent, one and a half, something stupid like that. So they're giving you half of what the inflation rate is. That's ridiculous. 
They're getting rich off your money and you're not even keeping up with the rate of inflation. There's a ton of great ways to sort of stockpile your cash. The trick is to keep it as liquid as, as possible. I like investing my money into some safe ETFs because that way it's still growing. My number one stock pick is what? It's the S&P 500. You can buy a little bit at a time per share. You can sell a couple of shares if all of a sudden there's an emergency and you, you need that money. As long as you don't need that money like right this second because it can take a few days for it to get transferred back to your bank account. But for the most part, it's fairly liquid similar to a savings account, but it's growing, you know, here's a couple of bonus reasons why you should be stockpiling your cash. I'm sure you all heard about this. Now at 1030, the massive tech outage that impacted everything from airlines to banks to hospitals and businesses around the globe is linked to one giant tech company, CrowdStrike. And let's not forget the lessons that we learned from just a couple of years ago in 2020 when everything shut down. I'm telling you, is it gonna happen again anytime soon? Probably not. But if 2020 taught us anything, it's you need to be prepared. I mean, you remember this? You've probably been hearing, talking, and thinking about one particular bathroom item a little more than normal lately. Getting, you know, a hundred rolls of toilet paper, uh, that really didn't make a whole lot of sense. That's exactly what most Americans are doing, with toilet paper sales up more than 100% from this time last year. Believe it or not, this isn't the first time a crisis has created a TP frenzy. Do you know what else is disappearing from the supermarket shelves? Toilet paper. Ha ha ha, you can laugh now. In 1973, that rumor sent panic shoppers to, you guessed it, the toilet paper aisle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and uh, keep an eye out for that 1,000 sub giveaway. I'm close. So close. I'm Trader Bubba. Y'all stay safe out there. Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping by here at Trader Bubba's, where we talk about growing and protecting our... Hmm. I guess I should answer the call to freedom. While I'm on the phone, do me a favor. Check out my other videos. You won't regret it. Hello.